Yo, what's up guys, this is Guffy Guy and today I'm going to show you how to set up a HD PVR to your computer and to your TV and Xbox. Alright, so what you want to do first is you want to connect your AV cables to your Xbox and then send them down here into your HD PVR in the bottom, in their correct slots, obviously. And if you have Turtle Beach, put the Turtle Beach ones in first, red and white, and then that's that part done. And the next part is not so hard either. So you want to get the two black ones, you can't really see because of the light, but the two darker ones, the red, that is white, but the sticker thing fell off. And the green, the blue, and the red, and plug them in. Oh yeah, and this yellow one, that, you, that just stays out. And then plug them in, I'm just readjusting that. And then they come up, you should have this thing, it looks like a belt. And they go into the back of your TV, into their correct spots. And that's it really. And then you have this thing, which is the USB, which goes into your computer. And then this is the power. So if I pull that out, my TV goes black. And then when I put that back in, yeah, it might flash. Yep, see that flash? That means that it's loaded. And then I get no signal, and then it pops back up. So that's that. And now this is how you connect it to your computer. Because my bed is all over there, and my PVR is down here, I have an extender which I got from J. Dick Smith, which is like Walmart in America. Okay, so now this will plug in to your USB port, like so. And then this screen pops up. There's one moment, please. And then that's it. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you may be thinking, why isn't mine doing that? I don't mind it the exact same thing. I would plug it in, the screen would come up, then disappear, and there would be a red light. I mean, not that red light means it's recording, but there would be a, that yellow light would appear there. So we'll turn that off. And that yellow light, that's what would be there. And then it disappears and now the red one should come on. Yep, and now it's recording again. So but I had to do that like ten to fifteen times. I was sitting there for about two hours trying to get it to work and about the next morning I did. So if you're freaking out, don't worry, I went through the exact same thing. Many YouTubers that like set it up don't tell you that. Because I think it's because it's a Mac. But if you're setting up with a PC it should work fine. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's all there is to setting it up, and in another video I'll show you how to export it. And I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. Oh, yeah, there's a few preferences that you need to do when setting this up. ITV, and go to Preferences. And you have your names, I don't know why there's three. Oh, that's parents thing. And then go to Devices. And click a pog HD PVR, none of this. Sorry about that. So HD PVR, a pog, go recordings and click that to custom. So like that's best. See it changes. Put it at custom. Go edit and make it 13.5 meg at a constant rate and standard AAC, click OK. And then the picture, the same, just leave that the info, that's what it is. And sound, play sound, yep. And then you can hook up your iPhone to it. So, on your iPhone, iPad, whatever. And sharing, you can share my TV archive, like that. And then you can full screen mode, display, and 
Over here, it's got the extreme edges of the TV that do not appear on the tip. Oops, can be turned. So, yeah, if you're using a. Well, sorry, I'm bad at this. If you're using a computer screen, leave that off. Oh, yeah, this is what I was talking about before. See how my red light's gone on the thing, and this is flashing on and off? That's what I was experiencing, and that's probably what you're experiencing if you're watching this video. And so, what you just do is you turn it on, turn it off, and then just turn it straight back on, and it should work. And then it should load. Yep, okay. And then there's guide and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, full screen, normal. Don't want to stretch it. Progressive scan and drop field. And then the guide service. I think that's already the same. Yeah, oh, that's if you it's like connected to Fox or something like that. It's recording. And they're just your keys. And you can live TV buffer it. And you can change where it exports to. And the general. And just exporting in that. And there was one other thing. There was a way to get the light on it. So, my thing now, there used to be a huge blue light. When you turn it on and off, I think it does it. It should flash. Yeah, that flash that appears while it fell off my bed around here. Oh, it glows actually. And I'm trying to figure that out now. How I did it. Right, TV. Oh no, it's in setup. That's when you set it up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any problems or any questions, leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching. Peace.